Hello guys, it is Briggsy Boy here, welcome back to my channel and today I return to my FIFA 18 Blackburn Rovers career mode. We are of course 18th in the league, played 3 games, got 3 points, so it's been a bit of a rocky start, we've had quite a few losses in that last episode, but uh, we're hoping to bounce back from that and kicking straight off into a home match against MK Dons, uh, and this is the squad that we've gone for for this match, so Raya in goal, Caddis Mulgrew, Lane Hill and Williams at the back, Smallwood and Evans in the centre mid rolls, Conway and Bennett on the wings, Dak in that camp position, and then Marcus Antonsen up front as the lone striker. Here we go then, first match of the episode against MK Dons, and let's try and get a win. As they build this attack. Here's Elliot Bennett. Puts it out wide to Craig Conway. Tried to play it back. Dak tries to shoot and it's just dragged wide. Here's Bradley Dak to Conway, back to Bradley Dak, Dak shoots, really good save from the keeper there. Here's Peter Whittingham to Connor Chaplin on that wing, he puts it in the middle, oh no and I've absolutely skied it there with Elliot Bennett, I was holding down that B button for far too long and the end result is that absolute howler, should have been 1-0 there. And it would have been an easy first goal in this match, but it's not to be. Here's Richie Smallwood. This attack looks quite good here. Chaplin shoots, and it is a big deflection. Going out for a corner kick. Bradley Dak whips the corner in. Keeping that ball well within our grasp, it's Chaplin. Antonsen, the shot, really good save from the keeper there again. MK Don's attacking the shot, and I thought that was going to be 1 0 there. Full time whistle goes then, and it does end goalless with a 0 0 result, the first that we've had this season. And I must say, it's not really been a boring 0 0 match, we've certainly had chances, but on the day we just couldn't really make any of them count. I think the biggest one being that through ball from Chaplin, which we skied over the bar with Bennett. I think that could have been the decider to make it 1-0. But if you look at the stats, it was very even, same amount of shots on target, possession was very similar. And overall, I don't think on the day either of the teams really deserved to get three points. But it's an improvement really from what was happening last episode, and let's just hope that in our next match, we can pick up three points. So our second match of the episode is Czech Trade Trophy action in round one against Lincoln City. So because it's in a tournament such as that, I've made a few adaptations to the squad to make it our reserve team. So Luke Weiler starts in goal with Ryan Niambi, Darnell Johnson, Scott Wharton and Sam Hart making up the four in defence. Harry Chapman plays in left mid while Conway goes to the right mid role. Ben Gladwin and Corey Evans make up the two centre mid roles and Mark Sanson is joined up top by Dominic Samuel. So the five that make the bench this time round are Joe Nuttall, Raheem Harper, Jack Doyle, Paul Downing and David Raya. Here we go then, check trade trophy action against Lincoln City, let's get a win. And here's an attack from Lincoln. Oh, and it hits the crossbar. Good headed effort there from Lincoln. Conway to Samuel. Into that little pocket of space. Oh, and it's a howler of a save from Lincoln City's keeper. And that puts us 1-0 in the lead in this Czech Trade Trophy tie. I think it's Harry Chapman that got it in the end on that wing position. And it is indeed the number eight man himself. And I mean, we're doing a lot of passing and moving and it seemed to be gelling the team together. It only takes one good one like that. Yes, the keeper should have definitely saved that. But anyway, it's a lead and a lead which we will take. Gladwin. Gladwin to Samuel. And Chapman shoots. That time it's a good save by the keeper. Stops making it too. Here's Dominic Samuel. Good pass to Chapman. Chapman back to Samuel. Samuel still going 2-0. And that is the half-time effect because we've moved Samuel over to that right-hand side, swapped in with Conway, and the difference in pace between the two, I didn't realise it, but there's a big difference there. Chapman and Samuel linking up perfectly there. Great one-two. 
Yes, it was a bit of a scruffy goal. It wasn't hit first time by Samuel, but that isn't the point. It puts us 2-0 up in the lead now, and you've got to favour that we are going to walk away into round two of the Czech Trade Trophy by now. Stood up to the opposition and kept it out. But you can't ask for a better opportunity than that. Should have done much better. Oh, and that's a really good touchdown by Anderson, and he puts it straight onto Nuttall's feet. He's running forward. On oh, it's straight to the keeper, the rebound, and Antonson's second shot of that was absolutely astonishing. Should have been 3-0, but it skies into the crowd. Corner kick then for Lincoln. The header, 2-1. Really powerful header there. And I'm not sure who got it in the end. The keeper was up for it. Let's have a look at the replay. Has he done a Paul Robinson and scored it? I'm pretty sure the keeper did score that. Yes, he did. Lincoln City's goalkeeper scores for them. That is quite the achievement from the corner kick. We've just got to keep a cool head now, though. With it being in the last dying minutes, we don't want to give away a stupid goal and end up drawing this. So it's another corner kick. Please, keeper, do not score this time. I'm heavily marking him. Oh, and it's a good save by Raya. Oh, my God. And I thought that Lincoln were going to be in there off the rebound. It's another corner kick. The drama in this match. I just have that really bad feeling that they're going to score. But it's defended well. They still keep it up, though. Keeper rushes back. It'll be a case of holding the ball now until the final whistle for Lincoln. With Patin into the hands of Ray, though. And the full-time whistle goes. It's a 2-1 win. Good result for us, and I'm glad that we've managed to progress into round two of the Czech Trade Trophy. Yes, it's not as big as the FA Cup, but a good win nevertheless. And now it'll be time to move on to our next league fixture. So then getting into our third match of the episode, we come back into league action. This time we are at home to Fleetwood. And uh, this is the team that we've gone for for this match. So changing more into the first-team squad. So David Rea comes back into the goalkeeper position. Paul Caddis, Lennihan, Downing and Williams make up the defence. Craig Conway shifts over to the left-hand side with Bennett on the right mid. Whittingham and Small make up the two centre mid rolls, with Bradley Dack being in that cam position again, this time with Antonson being up top on his own. Here we go then in our second league match of the episode against Fleetwood, and let's get three points on the board. Conway... Conway delivers it to Bennett. Bennett with a good pass. This shot, really good save from Fleetwood's keeper. And he boots it out there. Here's Grant for Fleetwood. 1-0, too easy. And that is a very, very bad goal to concede there. He just waltz through the defence. Taps it into that bottom corner. Ray couldn't get down to it. One of them awkward shots. And I feel mugged off that fleet would have managed to score from this. Very poor defending. The marking sloppy. And at the end of the day, the shot was pretty poor. But somehow it gets past Raya. And 1-0 then to Fleetwood. Not a good start here from us. Hopefully, we can turn this round. Antonsen. Good pass to Chaplin, 1-1, one, one. he's done it again, Connor Chaplin, the Chaplin effect, because he's bagged another, similar to previous goals that he got for us in that last episode, he just creeps in on that wide position from a good pass there from Marcus Antonsen, and it's a very good finish there from Chaplin, right into that top corner, there's no stopping goals like that, and I do believe in all competitions, that is his third for us, first in the league, but he got the two in the cup game last time on the last episode. And he has turned out to be a great signing for us so far. Hopefully this can continue, because it's a brilliant goal from Chaplin. And we go 1-1 one, one up then in this match against Fleetwood. It's a quick attack. In the middle. Oh, and they've scored literally a minute after ours. What a piss take that is. Not happy by that goal. The defending was crap. Marking was too sloppy. And I'm not sure what David Ray was doing, but it should have been stopped that goal. Oh, and that is a really good through ball for Fleetwood. Can they make it 3-1? And they do! 
this match has just gone from bad to worse and it really has been a shit performance from us to be losing 3-1 to Fleetwood and it was just that easy one through ball, one shot and there we go Fleetwood attacking again through that wide play played into the middle, hits the crossbar and luckily the rebounded header does not end up in the back of our net. Full time whistle goes in and it's a 3-1 loss to Fleetwood. Shocking game, shocking result. And I'm just fuming really with the performance there. So then getting into our fourth game of the episode against Rochdale away. This is the squad that we've gone for for this match. So quite a few changes have been made to try and get three points in this one. Stafford Rea starts in goal. Ryan Niambi stays in right back. Lenny and Mulgrew and Hart make up the whole defence, which we have never done in this way before. Craig Conway stays in left mid with Bennett staying on the right. Gladwin and Small make up the two centre mid walls with Whittingham being substituted. Bradley Dack stays in cam and this time Connor Chaplin stays up top on his own instead of Marcus Antonsen. Here we go then. The match is underway and let's hope for a good result this time round. Is Chaplin. Good ground pass to Bennett. Bennett to Chaplin. Chaplin sees Conway. Conway shoots 1 0. What a strike by Craig Conway that one was. And it's rocketed straight into the top corner of the net there. And maybe we are showing signs of improvement here. We take the lead after 17 minutes. It's a hell of a strike by Conway, but a brilliant assist. From Connor Chaplin again making himself known in this match. And his assist leads to Conway's goal here, which puts us 1 0 up against Rochdale. Here's Ben Gladwin. To Dak. To Conway again on the wing. He shoots brilliant save from the keeper. And that could have been two. Corner kick, which Conway whips in. Can't quite get ahead on it. Lenny Hun directs it back to Sam Hart. To Conway. Chaplin! Oh, and he can't quite get on the rebound, Conway. Good effort, though. It's a free kick then for Rochdale, which Davis will take. And he strikes it, and it's just wide. Conway. Oh, and it's fell to Chaplin. Oh, and it's just wide. I thought it went in there. Oh, and Rochdale have equalised. Great pass and move play there. And it's put into the box. Just hammered into that top corner. Ray won't save them ones. And right on the verge of half time, it couldn't have come at a worse time for us. And from a point of view... It's not looking brilliant for us, Rochdale, a team that are doing much better than us currently in the league. And they get back on level terms in this match. We've got to keep focus now in this match and make sure that we don't get a repeat of last match against Fleetwood. Elliot Bennett. Oh, and here we go, Antonson, 2-1! Back in this one, the substitute... Comes on in the second half, makes an instant impact. Up top with Chaplin, he seems to be deadly. The duo bagging goals for fun in this match. And here's a brilliant strike. Great goal from Antonson. And he's second of the season so far. We are back in the lead in this one then, and rightfully so. 2-1. Chaplin. Conway. To Sam Hart. Antonson, he is a strike. Good save from the keeper, though. Corner kick. Conway takes it. It is a wide one, but the header rattles the crossbar. And I thought that was going to be 3-1 there. And then that could have been game over. Bradley Dack. And here's a chance for us. We've got many men forward. Antonson gets the pass, though. Can he get his second? Brilliant save from the keeper. Tries to head it in the box for the rebound. 
Doesn't quite work out though. Full time whistle goes in and we do finally get them three points that were needed. It's a 2-1 win over Rochdale. We did well overall. I think we shut Rochdale out pretty well at a lot of the ball, most of the possession. And it's a good result, so hopefully we can keep that going into the next match against Scunthorpe. So then going into our final match of the episode, we are away at Scunthorpe, who currently sits sixth in the league table on 10 points. As you can see, we still stay in 20th. Six games played, seven points, so it is improving. Uh, but literally, a win could shoot us right up into the playoff position. So the league is still incredibly tight. So there's not much to worry about at the moment. We just need to keep these wins going. So uh, this is the squad that I've gone for for this match. So David Ray starts in goal again. Paul Caddis replaces Niambi at the back. But instead of that, Lenny Hill, Mulgrew and Williams all stay in the defence roles. Harry Chapman swaps for Conway on left mid. Bennett stays in right mid. Corey Evans switches for Richie Smallwood. Bradley Dax stays in Cam. And now up top we now have Antonson and Chaplin instead of Chaplin as the lone forward. So then let's get into this match against Scunthorpe and let's try and end off the episode on a high by getting a win. 1-0 Scunthorpe, what a strike and there was no stopping that. He came unexpected as well but Lee Novak gets it. The forward who always seems to have an eye for a goal and he certainly did there. As we go 1-0 down after just 11 minutes. I mean, fair play to them. There wasn't much we could have done about it. Marking could have been a bit tighter maybe, so we didn't have that space to get the shot away. But it was an unexpected one. And Scunthorpe go 1-0 up pretty early on in this match then. Antonson, Antonson 1-1, one, one. just three minutes after Scunthorpe's goal, we get it back level, and again he's on the score sheet, that's three goals now that he's got to his name, and he's becoming quite a danger to League One football, but we are back in this one now, brilliant comeback. Oh, and here's Antonson again. Oh, and he's scored another. 2-1 now. And in the space of about six or seven minutes, we've gone from losing 1-0 to winning 2-1. Brilliant comeback from us. And suddenly Scunthorpe, look, the team that are in danger. No presence in the defence. Antonson was free in the middle there. Good through ball there. Not sure if it was from Chaplin. But it's a brilliant strike. Keeper does get a hand to it though, maybe he should have saved it, but he only helps in the goal at the end of the day. Good goal by Antonson, 2-1. Here's Harry Chapman. Turns in to Evans. To Antonson for his hat-trick, and I thought he had it there. And what an achievement, that would have been a hat-trick in 30 minutes. Scunthorpe's ball into the middle, the volley hits the post and Ray was saved there because I don't think he was going to save that one. Chaplin. We see the ball to Dak, Bradley Dak on a quick breakaway here to make it three. Really good save from the keeper, Matt Jilks denies it being 3-1 there. Will be a corner kick. Bradley Dack is the taker. Good header. And it's just wide in the end. Scunthorpe corner kick then. Went into a good area. The header. Good save by Raya. That was definitely nested into that bottom corner. If the save wasn't made there, will be another corner then for Scunthorpe. The header. Raya punches away that time though. And the danger is cleared. Antonson. Dominic Samuel. To Harry Chapman. Chapman shoots. Good save from Jilks. Well, 
Oh, and here's Josh Morris to Madden. Good save, the rebound, and they've equalised in the 81st minute. What a poor time to concede. And they were playing to get something out of this match. Maybe they've deserved it, maybe they've not. I mean, we've had our chances as well. Maybe not took all of them. But, I mean, we go from 2-1 up to 2-2. And it is unfortunate. And Scunthorpe certainly do look a strong side to keep the point. If not, go for all three. Here's Antonsen. This could be our chance. Muscles off the defender. Turns quickly. Pass it to Bennett. Bennett as a strike. Hits our own player. And the volley blazes over the bar. There goes the full-time whistle then. It is a 2-2 draw with Scunthorpe. Yes, it would have been better if we got all three points. But a point is better than nothing. I will take that. That's four out of six points uh, in the last two league games that we've played. We are now 19, so we've gone up a place. Doesn't do much for us, but I mean... There are still a lot of players around us on 8, 9 or 10 points. So uh, we've got some ground to make up on the next episode, which will start off with a league game against AFC Wimbledon at home. But anyway guys, hope that you have enjoyed my FIFA 18 Blackburn Rovers career mode, episode 3. If you have, make sure to drop a like down below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you and goodbye.